here we have a Nokia Kinetic device. It shows you how easy and interactive intuitive interaction can be simply by twisting the device or bending it. By bending you can uh, open an application, twist to select a, a song, bend again to activate the song, uh, twist uh, to set the volume, uh, bend away, go back to selection of, of songs, yeah. bend to exit. Uh, in Photos application, by bending towards yourself, you can go to the image application. Then uh, by scrolling, you can scroll stepwise by twisting, or you can keep it, keep the device twisted and it scrolls really slow. And when you twist more, it goes really fast. So it's a extremely good analog control. Mm -hmm. Imagine what this could be doing in, in a gaming environment. So by bending you can zoom in in the pictures and uh, by bending out, zoom out. Yeah. It's really fast. Okay. Can you just uh, turn it and show me how far it bends? Yeah, you can. It's, so it's a bendable, flexible device. Yeah. And uh, you can also twist, twist the browse the images. Yeah. What uh, software is running on there at the moment? At the moment, it's in our uh, research, research demonstrated phase. So we don't run it in any, any mobile, any mobile platform at the moment. Okay. What, what about the chip that you go inside? Can you tell me what the spec is? Uh, sorry, we don't. Okay. We don't reveal. The details. It's, this demo has been made to study the interaction by deforming the device, mm -hmm. and uh, so that's what we are doing here. Mm -hmm. And it's completely made out of plastic, is it? Uh, yes, the, the display is plastic, and uh, also the, the the housing is plastic. We have elastomers also in the housing, uh, but of course, in the display drivers, they they use IC components and flex. Yeah. And uh, if this does come to market, uh, presumably you put it with a touch screen as well, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's, 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 of, co of course you could combine it with a touch screen as well. Uh -huh. But this, uh, this bending uh, provides you features that touch screen uh, isn't so good. For example, this you can use, this you can use uh, gloves on. Uh, you can, uh, you don't need to point very accurately because you can, you can use it even without looking, looking at the device, twist and bend it. For example, to switch application or, or set the volume. Mm -hmm. And, and also, when, know, yeah. Sorry, when you squeeze, it answers the phone calls. Is that correct? That's also possible. You can add, add squeeze interaction there for these flexible devices. It's also very robust against drops, and uh, it's more comfortable to carry on a pocket. Okay. It's quite big, though. How big is that screen? Uh, I'd say it's about uh, a bit less than five inches. Okay. I say nearing tablet territory there a little bit. Yeah, well, screens are getting bigger every day. <laughs> but it is, it is a phone. Yeah, yeah, this is the idea is that it's a. Okay. And when, when, when might we see this? A ah, couple I, of years, five years? I hope, I hope that soon. But it, of course, depends on, on uh, how the, the public. How, how big demand there is in the markets. Okay. If, if there's a lot of interest on it, then you can put more resources on it. And also the technology. Yeah. Alright, thank you.